this is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is uh, the Proplex, Aaron Cell Proplex. I don't know what else to call it. I guess for terminology, we can call it the Proplex. P R O P L E X. I showed you the configuration in the last video. It's got two sides on it. Had a lot of neat speculation on it, emails wise. And uh, you can see there's one side we've got these plates are all touching on one side. Anyway, I'll show you that when I take it out. And there's another side that has the same as this. So one set of plates are touching the side and that's going to be all negative and the positive will be on the inside that isn't touching the plates. The question of the day is of course what will happen when we turn this on. Speculation has been that we need current to go through the cells in order to produce the hydrogen. The current meaning the water has to go through them. I have always been under the at least my idea is that it's not really necessary. When you have the electrolyte there, you have current goes through it. As soon as the bubbles are produced, they go away. More bubbles are produced. So every time the current hits it, you have more bubbles. Of course, a lot of people have said that I'm all wet in that idea. We will see. I'm going to turn it on now. Remember, so we've got most of the plates now are minus. We're on and we're running about 11 amps. It doesn't quite know what to do with that setup. <coughs> Let's turn it off for a while. <coughs> oh, the famous cough. Okay. I've even got one email relating my coughs to the amount of hydrogen being produced. Very funny. It's producing hydrogen, but again, the different kind of bubbles. There's definitely a difference in the hydrogen the way it comes out on the configuration. There's definitely a difference. In the Widowmaker, you got the white bubbles. In the Aaron cell, using the two-thirds principle, you get the white bubbles. And let's try it again here. Turn it on. What's interesting is the way it's coming out. Turn it off here.
set this up so we can see a different angle. Okay, we'll turn it on again. It's only using 11 amps, which isn't bad. Which leads me to believe that some refinement on this, and we might have something really nice going on. What I'm going to do is take this out of here. My lab has got so much in it right now, it's hard to move around. The reason I labeled this a Proplex is because ah, it's an inside joke. Okay. This is all bubbles that are on this. Let's get this off of here. As you can see, I'm using um, a lot heavier wire because of the meltdown I had the other day. There she is, he is, she is. All my equipment is labeled she, by the way. This moved, so I didn't get quite the arrangement I wanted. I wanted this to be in better, but it didn't work that way. So we had a slight movement on this. This plate I wanted to be over further. So if you look real close, all these plates here are touching this grid. In the bottom half of those plates are touching the other grid. These plates up here are not touching either of the grids. So this is my positive plate system. All of these are negative plates. This is a negative electrode that goes from plate to plate here.